And to more news now, presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Ashwa Jubola Medinubu, has promised to create 1 million jobs in the first 24 months if elected. Former Lagos Deputy Governor Otumba Femi Pedro gave this assurance in Abuja when he explained the manifesto of Ashwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu at a one-day symposium. According to Pedro, Tinubu has 12 key economic points to get Nigeria out of the current economic doldrums. Other key economic activities that Tinubu will implement, he said, include bringing back manufacturing companies like Dunlop that left the country many years ago, resuscitating the commodity boards, empowering women, expanding infrastructure provision, and curtailing the runaway inflation. About 74 persons were hospitalized while several vehicles were vandalized as hoodlums attacked the convoy of the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar in Meduguri, Borono State. The PDP presidential campaign spokesperson Dino Menei disclosed this during the party's rally in Meduguri and alleged that the act was part of an attempt to stop the PDP campaign rally in the state. Menei lamented that the thugs were deployed in many strategic locations to attack their supporters. But speaking at the rally, the party's flag bearer, Atiku Abubakar, pledged to end the insecurity currently ravaging parts of the country and revamp the Lake Chad region to restore economic stability in the north. Atiku also vowed to revitalize the oil exploration in Borono, which was started several years earlier. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has reported a total of 1,601 suspected cases of yellow fever from 463 local government areas in 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. The cases were reported from January 1, 2022 to September 30, 2022. According to the situation, a report obtained a total of 15 deaths were recorded from suspected cases in 10 of the states. The cases were reported from different states of the Federation. Male to female ratio for suspected cases was 1.2 ratio 1 with males 871, that's 54.4%, and females being 730, which represents 45.6%. 74% of cases were predominantly aged 30 years and below. 174, that's 11%, of 1,601 suspected cases received at least one dose of the yellow fever vaccine. And moving on, the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu has officially declared open the 2022 National Festival of Arts and Culture, NAFEST. The governor said the festival is aimed at protecting the rich cultures and unity of the country. I, Bojo Ikwaria, has the details. Stadium. Mabalanji Johnson Stadium on Nikos saw the representation of the Federal Capital Territory and 36 other states participating in the ongoing 35th National Festival for Arts and Culture. Governor Baji Samonlu, before declaring the event open, went round to welcome participants at the event. The governor also used the opportunity to advise political office holders and those contesting elections to continue to engage the electorate on the importance of the unity and peaceful coexistence of the nation using platforms like NIFEST. Some participants at the event comment. And these are we that portrays what the energy of this nation is yes. and we sell it to the outside world yeah. to tell them come to us and we will give you peace. Come to us, we will give you sukkah. Come to us, you understand what it means to to reverence your own culture and your own tradition and stand in what you believe in. And that is what the Lagos State Governor is giving to you. Lagos is doing so well. Um, and you know that Edo State and Lagos State, we have a synergy. We have a, com a combination of cultures. We can see on display some of the things that go on in Lagos also happen in Benin. So what you are seeing here today is a display of our rich cultural heritage as a nation. For us in Edo State, we have come out with our best. And we know that um, subsequent um, uh, NAFES will be better than this, but it's a great outing today. Uh, it's our culture. We are promoting peace in Nigeria, and that's what you're seeing uh, being exhibited here today. The opening ceremony was attended by traditional rulers, including the Oni of Ife. I, Boji Horia, reporting Vibrant TV News. We'll take a commercial break now. When we come back, we'll bring you more stories from Africa and the rest of the world. Stay with us. Thank you.